Hi, welcome to Graphic Design 101 on Jim's Orbit. In this video, we're going to design a minimal vector logo from scratch. I'll be walking you through the process, but I won't be explaining how to use the tools in details because I've already done that in the section 1 of the series. So make sure you check out the link in the description for the entire playlist. And now let's begin. Now before starting with designing a logo, the first thing designers usually do is understand the design brief really well. For the purposes of this video though, I am using a made up organization name. I'm gonna make a logo for Norswich Concert Society. Nothing like that actually exists. So according to the hypothetical design brief that I've given myself, the logo can have elements that hint to orchestra music, but nothing too in the face. It should appeal to an upscale and upmarket audience and can look minimal but not too delicate and it should not look playful at all so this is a very formal minimal serious looking logo that we are going to design so once you've understood the design brief you can start researching developing a mood board and sketching out as many ideas as you can on paper for your entire design that is both the icon and the typography you should keep switching between closing your eyes and imagining how it should look like and experimenting with the elements and typography by sketching them on paper. Now you can pick one idea that you like the most and start designing it in a software. But remember, it's not necessary to replicate this exact sketch because you will most probably end up making some changes that enhance your design. So vector software like Adobe Illustrator is great for our purpose. Now I'm going to make a 2000 by 2000 pixels artboard. Remember you should choose the CMYK mode if your logo would also be used in printed media and ensure that you are using a high resolution. The first step I'm going to do is import a reference picture. Now this is just a rough sketch that I made on paper and then clicked a picture off using my phone. So here I am just importing it by the side of my artboard. To draw the circular curves of the shape N, I'm going to draw some ellipses in the first layer and then using them as guidelines, I will draw curves in the second layer using the pen tool. After that, I can just switch off the visibility for layer 1 and continue working on the curves on layer 2. I changed the width profiles of these strokes and also tried making use of the width tool to find out what looked best. This design was inspired by musical elements like the F holes of a violin, the treble clef and the bass clef and of course the letter N for Norswich Concert Society. It's important to remember that your logo should always first work in monochrome so make sure the design makes sense with just one or two colors. Also, it should still hold meaning and be recognizable in a small size as well. After making precise adjustments, I decided to put it in a circle. The circle here in my design brings everything together and also adds meaning since a circle can be said to represent a union Okay, so now I'm adding the text and I'm choosing the appropriate font style and font size for it. Keep in mind that the whole design has to be in harmony. So you cannot choose a font that looks non-serious. For the purposes of this video, I was satisfied with how this looks. And so I went ahead and saved my file and then exported it as an image as well. Now it's a good practice to invert the colors of your monochrome design and put it on the opposite colored background. So here I am going to change the stroke color of my design to white and the text color to white as well so that it works on a black background. And then I exported that design as an image and exported that image back into my illustrator file. Lastly, I put everything together so it looked kind of like this. The final design is almost always presented in this way where the client can see two basic color options. So once again, I exported my artboard as an image and this is how the final version looked. 
I hope this video gave you some idea and some insight about the process of making a simple logo. Logo designing is a skill that that can make use of a vast number of tools to choose from depending upon the working idea for the design and the workflow as well. Okay, so that's it for right now. I will see you in another video.